Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cole at Kitschy Flower. And this is Blythe. <laughs> She's, this is my little Yorkshire Terrier, Blythe. Yes, I'm talking about you. Uh, she is about a year and a half, less than two years old. Um, love of my life. Um, very chaotic, still in the puppy phase, but ugh, I love her. A course named after Blythe Dolls, AKA the Kenner Blythe from the 70s. Yes, I love you too. All right, so I just went to Tennessee yesterday. A friend was actually there a day prior and saw something pretty amazing and actually sent me a picture of it, but I didn't see the, um, the picture in time to say grab it. Um, so I ended up having to make a three and a half hour car ride to Nashville. But it was fun, it was fine. Um, I had a great day of it and I did a whole little shopping spree for upcoming live sales and also the Instagram shop. So I thought I would sit down and do a haul of everything I got. I'll be waiting until the best for last on what I found, but um, I'm so excited. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Again, uh, like and subscribe. It means a lot if you did, helps me build my channel. And basically what I ended up doing, I went to Nashville to go to this specific antique store. I believe it was called Glass Lamp Antiques in Nashville, they actually had two huge buildings full of antiques. It was pretty magical. I found a few cute kitschy things there. And then I headed to the antique district in, I believe it's in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I could be wrong. Um, it's almost like on the border of Georgia and Tennessee, if that's any help. But I hit up that place pretty often. So first off, oh, Oh my gosh, look, it's a vintage bunny from the 50s slash 60s made by the brand. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Let me, oh. Uh, also, pardon my manicure. I don't know why I ever try to paint my nails. It never lasts. <laughs> um, here is the tag, Knickerbocker Animals of Distinction. Honestly, this brand is one of my favorite toy brands from back in the day. They of course had the some of the rubber faces and then they also just had super cute plushes like this cute bunny. This one will be a sale in an upcoming live sale on Instagram. I just have to um, fix up the ear, do a little repairing um, and then give him a little brush out and he should be good. All right, and then the next thing I actually bought for myself just to hold like glue sticks or uh, paint brushes on my desk, make it a little bit more cute. Uh, I actually got this cute baby chick planter. The reason I am going to be using this for like, I don't know, art supplies is because it has a pretty big significant crack in it uh, along both sides. It was only $5. Uh, the chick itself is in great condition. And honestly, I mean, it will be faced you know, this way and I won't even see the crack. But for $5 for, you know, cute storage for some of my art supplies, it it was a must. So this is my cute little chick. Uh, of course has the Japan on the bottom. Really excited about this one. I'm just like now getting into ceramic wear a little bit more. Of course I've always been into, well, I've always kind of been into, you know, more of the left in like mermaids and fish and like aquatic stuff. But now I'm kind of branching off, seeing what else is out there. Um, so that was super cute. Anyways, the next off we have are these cute little elf twins, twin figures. I think these are left in. I Honestly, I could so be wrong on that. I need to look them up, but I remember seeing, I don't know, if I if my memory does serve me right, I think they're left in, but I could also just be um, pulling that out of nowhere, who knows? <laughs> so we'll see as soon as this video gets uploaded. But anyways, these are super cute. Again, they're gonna probably be in a live sale upcoming this month, maybe. I'm thinking with as cute as these are, they might be in my live sale with uh, Kawaii Kitchi Butterfly. She, AKA Stacy, she has some amazingly cute kitsch vintage, which I'm so excited to do a sale with. I believe that one's going to be on the 28th of March. So stay tuned. 
All right, and oh my gosh, when I saw these, I was like, ugh. And then I looked at them closer and I was like, oh, never mind, but still cute. Okay, so what do these look like? Of course, they are not actual left-in uh, shakers, but they are kind of like pretty close uh, dupes if you're on a budget. Um, so these were just $5 for the set. I couldn't pass these up. I love old vintage shakers. These look like my old dog, Cupy. I mean, granted, if they were pink or blue, tinted, furred uh, dogs, they would even look more. But of course, these are little, you know, Maltese shakers. They still have the original plugs. And they both have a little bit of issues on them. You can see they have some chipping on these sides and some right there. I decided to pick them up just because they were so cute and they were just $5. So if I don't, or if they don't sell, I can use them for a display or something. So, I mean, little ceramics like this, it's like no harm, at least to me right now, because I'm still like, okay, I'm enjoying uh, ceramics right now in my collection. So if they don't sell, I'll keep them. So, and then the next thing I have, I got a bunch of doll clothes. Some of it is vintage Barbies, mostly I'd say 70s Barbies. Uh, and then I got a, actually a pretty decent sized bag of uh, like 60s Barbie shoes, which I'm so excited about. Um, I'm always in the need of old 60s Barbie shoes because they just like get lost or obviously dolls don't come with them when you find them. So it's always great to have around. And I always like picking up pretty cheap doll clothes. I think this whole bag was like $4. Um, just because obviously I myself, I do, you know, lots of custom dolls. I always need clothes. I like to personally alter pre-existing clothes. It makes my life a little bit easier. Um, of course, sometimes I'll do like full on patterns and you know, a lot of times if I just am like, you know, going with it, it's kind of nice to build off of something that's already there. Anyways, got a big bag of doll clothes for like four or five dollars. Then I got a bunch of these little like knock knockoff babies. I think this one is really, really cute. It has that um, more of kind of a Japanese look but I thought I could obviously just use these for projects. Um, personally, I don't think they're the cutest. Oh, cover your ears. Don't worry, they're in a bag. They can't hear me. Uh, <laughs> but um, I don't know, I thought I could do something. They were only $3 for this big bag, or well, decent sized bag of baby dolls. So I was like, okay. Next off, I will be showing you everything I got at the first stops, um, which was like the glass lamp antiques, like I said earlier, that's, that is the reason I actually went, is to go to these antique stores to pick up something extravagant. All right, and again, a little bit of a damaged ceramic for just like my personal collection. Um, it is actually a left-in uh, figurine, but she originally had two puppies on like a, um, uh, not a wire, like a chain. Um, super cute. She was only like, I don't know, like five or six dollars. Um, obviously I, they said, you know, she was missing something and she has a little bit of chipping along some of the flowers here, you can see, but I thought I just would put her on a shelf. Again, I'm trying to collect some cute, um, ceramics and stuff like that. Uh, for the price, I just super, I just really, really like her face worth $5 to me. I know she's, you know, incomplete, but who cares with that face? Lefton really did it right with some of their faces. Oh my gosh. And any, of course I'm kitschy flowers. So anything with flowers, I'm just like, got it. Oh my gosh, look at these little salt and pepper shakers, little partner dogs. I don't know, they could be boyfriends, girlfriends, any kind of friends, they friends, who knows. But it's a cute little couple of dogs. This one is the black kind of Scotty looking dog and she is more of a white poodle but they have those googly eyes. They still have their stoppers, which is awesome. And then of course you see their shakers. Even if you didn't use them as shakers, which I mean, granted, I don't really use vintage shakers too often, but they're just cute to put on a shelf, honestly. I mean, they are just sweet little figurines. So these will also be up in a sale upcoming this month. Next off, actually found 
Does anybody know her name? She is a, actually she's a reproduction Mrs. Beasley doll. She vibrates. She has a string and she vibrates. I actually really don't know too much about this doll. I've actually never had one. I'm gonna be putting her up for sale. Um, she is obviously in a lot better condition than some of the originals. Um, when I found her, I was like, uh, that doesn't make sense. And then I looked at her tag and she was obviously from the, um, I believe 2000. But yeah, I thought she'd be really cute. You know, a great addition to any, you know, vintage lovers a collection, of course, you know. She's the next best thing to vintage, a reproduction. Then the next thing I found is, again, for my personal collection, again, um, little like dinged up ceramics. I'm just a cute little fish. I do have a mermaid display in my bathroom. So I added, you know, this cute little one to be part of it. Again, I think this was only like, mm, like three, three or four dollars. Um, has a little bit of boo-boo on the fin, but you know, for $5, you can't really see it from afar. So no biggie there. All right, and then the next one is this cute little, I don't think they're salt and pepper shakers, but they were with a bunch of pop, or salt and pepper shakers, I can't talk. Um, here they are, these cute little fluffy kittens. OMG, they're sleeping. They do have the original Uko. Um, I think that's how you say it. Tag, if you haven't learned by now, I am horrible with pronouncing names. It takes me a hot second, but they are super cute. I'll clean them up and fluff up their tails and manes a little bit before I will sell them, but look out for them in the future. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Like I said, I was definitely on a ceramic kick. Um, speaking of, I'm actually gonna balance this on a, um, actually a picture frame, oddly enough, uh, just because I can't really show you it by just holding it. Here, the next off is a vintage made in Japan, ceramic dog and baby set. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. Overall, in really good condition though there is a little bit of chipping on two of the baby's paws in the front. But other than that, they are in really sweet condition. I am so in love. Uh, yes, look at them. One, two, three, four, and five little babies. So sweet. How can you not? Again, these will be up for sale. So you can see I'm <laughs> trying to balance on a picture frame or a framed picture, I should say. So sweet. Next one, oh, I am like, I was going to keep this next one, but I also have to find a bunch of things for live sales in the upcoming weeks. So I am going to be actually adding her to a sale. Why I say I was gonna keep her is when I usually do find like post dolls slash dolls in general, when they kind of have like platinum-esque, you know, really blonde hair, I do tend to keep them just, be just because I've always kind of been known for having uh, silvery kind of white hair. But here she is. She is a holiday fair pose doll with her original tag. She is in awesome condition. Oh my gosh, look at her. She was actually found at the first place I hit up. She has that cute little fur collar and then those long, long legs. And then, oh my gosh, look at her little shoes. And of course she is on a stand, a cute little pink wooden stand. I am so obsessed. She'll probably be available this upcoming Saturday in my live sale with Amy's Rock and Pop Shop and Rushton Barbie, AKA Peter. All right, and for the showstopper, oh my gosh, literally the reasoning I went to Nashville to begin with. I guess a brief story before I show. Like I said, a friend was actually out in the Tennessee, Nashville area, out antiquing um, for themselves and was coming across some cute toys and would send them to me occasionally to, to see if I wanted her to pick them up or not for me. Uh, unfortunately, um, the last photos she sent me was of something that like, ugh, 
made my heart stop. And unfortunately, when I got back to her, she had literally already left the state, which I was like, oh shoot. But like I said, when she, when I actually ended up seeing the pictures, she had already left the state. So I was like, oh shoot. And I asked her what shop it was at or antique store it was at. Um, and she told me, looked it up. Of course, when I got the chance to call, they were closed literally by like 10 minutes. So I was like, oh shoot. Um, so I was like, okay, what am I going to do? I'm just gonna drive three and a half hours to Nashville and hopefully see if it's there in the morning. So I decided to take the risk because I wasn't able to call for them to hold it for me. Without further ado, my Rushton Bunny. OMG, you guys. This has literally been one of the Rushtons, if not the like top Rushton I have been searching for is a bunny. Used to have some bunnies back in the day, but no longer do. Um, so I knew I had to find a bunny when I started collecting again. Oh, and unfortunately bunnies are super popular amongst collectors and extremely desirable, which racks up their price. Unfortunately, I have had my eye out on a few bunnies in the past and I just like, honestly, I just didn't really wanna pay what some of the other bidders were bidding up. So I was like, okay, one of these days, I'm gonna find one out in the wild as I tend to do with Rushtons. Uh, if you haven't followed me, I do tend to find them a bunch um, at antique stores. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know if that helps, um, but I do find them pretty regularly, honestly. Um, anyways, so this is the Rushton Bunny. She is actually a pink bunny. Uh, I will have to be, I will have to clean her. You can see her original baby pink coloring. OMG. Literally the fact she's a pink bunny and a bunny. I like, oh, it was fate. I literally, oh, it was such fate. I am, again, honestly, I love this face so much. Um, I love how the Rushton bunnies always have the pink eyes. Um, Oh, and I mean, granted has some, you know, aging on the fur over the years, but I think I can like clean it up pretty well and make that pink pop again. I am just so in love. This was such a find. Again, they are very, very, very hard to find. And when you do find them, they, and then when you do find them, they are usually a pretty penny. So to find this at $25, it, I don't know, it was just meant to be. And I'm just very, I'm very um, fortunate. So yes, this is my Rushton Bunny. I will be doing a full restoration on her in an upcoming video, actually, I'm gonna be doing on YouTube. I'll be doing a TikTok as usual, how I do, but I would love to do a whole full length video of me doing a Rushton restoration and I thought, what better would be this cute face, OMG. She is a bit dirty. Um, you know, I don't have to do too extremely much to her, but um, I am gonna end up cleaning her. But this has been today's haul. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Again, yesterday was such a trip. It was so wonderful. It was so worth it. Um, I am just so excited to share everything with everyone in my live sales and on Instagram. And you might even see one or two pieces pop up in Doll Inclusive here either on my YouTube channel or Amy at Rock and Pop Shops YouTube channel on our sales portion of Doll Inclusive. OMG. I so I actually got two of my dream toys like days next to each other. I'm just like, here's my other one. I won't say too much about her. Um, she'll have, you know, a debut in an upcoming video or TikTok, but yes, her name's Gigi. Um, but yes, I've been looking for one of, one of these for a while, but OMG, but I actually, I did order her off eBay. So didn't, didn't unfortunately find her in the wild, paid, paid retail, I would say, um, for her, but anyways. I mean, she still has the felt original carrot attached to her. She still has her original felt vest with all of the buttons, the original bow. I mean, she was just 
probably not played with and definitely never thrown in a washing machine, which is so amazing to see because a lot of times you find vintage plush and they look like they've been loved and they look like they've been played with, which is honestly wonderful to see. Um, but as a collector, you know, you want to try to find, you know, items that are as pristine as possible. And this, after I, you know, do a, a spa treatment on her, is going to be a showstopper. And I'm just so excited to own a Rushton Bunny. Ugh, love, love, love her. And honestly, she's a lot bigger than I thought she was going to be. I thought she was going to be, like, more of the, um, like, the Peter Rabbit slash Molly Rabbit, um, size which is kind of like i don't know just not as big as her so thank you so much for watching again i'm cole at kitschy flower of course i have a youtube where i post toy related content i love to do thrift with me antique hauls whatever if it's old and involves vintage toys i'm there of course i have my tiktok at kitschy flowers uh i do lots of vintage toy restoration on there too of course more in real time because it's a little less editing than a YouTube video. But yes, and also I do a lot of unboxings there as well. So it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Of course, always including vintage and yours truly, but yes. And then of course I do have my Instagram shop at Kitschy Flower and my personal page at Cole Eugene. I have lots of live sales coming up this month. I am so excited to share everything I have collected and sourced for everyone. Bye.